We have here today the Black Heart Road Tie Titanium Road Bike in a size 56, weighing at 8.45 kgs and in pounds, that's 18 pounds, 13 ounces, two bottle cages, pedals, and also the Garmin light on there. Stay tuned after the video, we'll hear a free buy sound test on these petrol wheels right there. Hey everybody, GC Performance here, back with another video. And as you guys just saw right there, this is the Blackheart Road Tie Full Titanium Bicycle. And I was just ripping on that thing on a ride I just did recently. I got to go ahead and have the privilege to ride on this bicycle and it performs extremely well. So on today's video, I'm gonna go over everything about this bicycle in terms of details, specs, how the build weight came out on it, and also talk about the ride feel on this bicycle, the compliancy, how does it stack up to modern day road aero bikes, and talk about the uh, the pros of the titanium bicycles and also the cons of them as too, just in terms of uh, the extra weight that they add on there. But this bicycle is made by the company Blackheart and this is their brand new series lineup of the bicycle called the Road Tie. Uh, Blackheart is a company over in California. They make these bicycles to spec over in Cali and they'll ship them out to you guys within a week. They have a ton of different sizes. They have their own components on there, like their own bar and stem configurations. They also come with their own seat posts on there. I'll go over all the details on this bicycle in terms of the price and everything like that. But first and foremost, guys, what did you guys think about my, my speed on there? Because I know, I know what you guys are thinking. GC, you're very fast. I know, like, why didn't you go to Tour de France and stuff like that? I, it's a struggle. It's a struggle being this good at cycling, a retail man, um, having a wife that loves me, kids and stuff like that. It is difficult. I'll tell you that much. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. But yes, let's go ahead and jump right into this, this bicycle because this bicycle is definitely a different breed and it's a breath of fresh air in terms of what's been offered to the public for a while and going to titanium bikes because this is a revamp for titanium, especially with the drop seat stays and the integrated cable and housing, which I think is really cool. It takes titanium bikes and basically makes it a modern look. So hopefully you guys enjoy. So this bicycle, just for clear transparency, was sent out to you by the people over at Blackheart uh, to go ahead and do a full build up on and ride it out. Basically, they sent me all the frame, the fork, the integrate, integrated cockpit, and also the seat post on there. Uh, the system that they sent me out goes ahead and costs about $3,300 as it sits. The frame is $3,300 alone with the fork. And if you want to add on their own barn stem system, it's an extra $300, which I did. I got that configuration in a 40 by 120 system. I don't know why I opted for the 120. Maybe I had a couple of drinks with me that night. But uh, yes, <laughs> it was a little bit longer than what I'm used to. As for you guys can see, the rails pushed up on my saddle a little bit more forward. But coming from all these aero bikes I've been riding for a while and all these aero bikes I've been featuring on the channel, uh, the Elves, the One Space T1550, coming from the Specialized Venge, all these other deep dish aero bicycles with these massive kind of bricks of carbon inside there, this Titanium was a breath of fresh air. It was very com comfortable, very compliant. The drop seat stays helped out a, a lot. I don't know what uh, or how other titanium bicycles rode in the past. Everyone always has this kind of hard on for titanium bikes. So it's either like an enthusiast thing where the enthusiasts really love it, or there's this kind of people that's like, oh, it's just kind of overhyped. But uh, my experience on this titanium bike was extremely compliant coming from the elves I took all this stuff off here. So this bicycle was an absolute blast. And my main concern with this bicycle is that you see these kind of rounded tubes on here. Yes, it's integrated for sure. It does have some kind of flare on the top tube as well. And also it has some flare to the down tube as well. But my biggest concern is in Florida, how flat we are, those aerodynamic benefits usually do help on those, on those air bikes. And my concern was, will I be able to do these group rides 24, 25, 26, and not struggle as much without an air bike? And as you guys just saw right there, me and my buddy, just me and him going back and forth, we took poles going up and down A1A, and we were having no problems going 22, 24, 25. And uh, I had an absolute blast on this bicycle while being comfortable. So. There you guys have it, that, that is a very comfortable bike on there. Now obviously, tire pressure, tire size, saddle choice, this all comes down to compliancy issues or a compliancy feeling, how you feel on the bicycle. But uh, in terms of my setup, how I have this, and this is even a zero degree offset post, uh, it was, like I said, a breath of fresh air coming from that else. So very nice. 
Now some details about the bicycle, which I'll go over my full build as well. The black heart frame, like I mentioned, is three grand by itself. You can get the one piece barn stem for $3,300. And then they have, if you want to do a complete configuration, they also give you guys opportunities to build up with wheels and group sets. They have a range of group sets from SRAM Force to SRAM Red, um, to Hunt Wheels, to Zip Wheels, to MD Wheels. Whatever you guys like to do, they have option configurations for all that stuff and the prices will vary. So if you guys are interested, go check it out. The bicycle bottom bracket is a T47 bottom bracket threaded and it's an outboard. So the bottom bracket sticks out right there. Uh, the tire size, the max tire size on here is a 700 by 32 C. These are 700 by 28 C's, which was still very, very comfy on there. And I like to keep my pressure about 95 PSI because I am a little bit heavier. Um, the bicycle does come with a lifetime warranty on the titanium bits and parts on there. Titanium frame, seat post, and fork. I said before five years for the carbon fiber fork and manufacturer components on there, but I believe that he did mention that the carbon fiber fork, if you get the titanium version, bicycle, is lifetime. If you get the aluminum version with the carbon fork, then it's five years on there. So just double check with them over there, just to make sure. But the beautiful thing about these titanium bikes is they do have these very clean welds. I mean, the finishing on these bikes is just top tier. It's not like aluminum where you have these massive weld marks. Everything about this bicycle just screams enthusiast, screams high fashion almost. It's, it's literally like the hype beast of bicycles. I even got the Louis Vuitton tape on there for the hype beast kind of look on there. And the black heart kind of goes with it too. It looks really, really cool. They also do have the UDH derailleur hanger. So if you wanted to, you can even go ahead and put on a universal derailleur hanger like the new SRAM uh, direct mount. Uh, derailers on there if needed to so they're pretty much having a nice future proof into the bicycle as well but uh yeah it can also take a front derailleur it does include a front derailleur mount on there it's a 34.9 clamp size for a front derailleur and there's a hole right there but obviously it's south florida and make my life easier i just did a one by setup on there the seat post on here is their own seat post it's a carbon fiber seat post but in my video where i just kind of showed the frame it was a heavier seat post. I'll be honest with you guys. It wasn't the nicest seat post. You can definitely swap that thing out for like an Envy, a Zip, some other kind of, you know, Dorima, whatever you guys want to do. This is just a, a, I would say just kind of like a fill-in piece. It wasn't the greatest. It wasn't the best, but it works. It's a carbon fiber, but it's a very thick layer of carbon fiber. That, on the upside though, you do get a very nice Envy carbon fiber fork. I mean, if you're in the bicycle industry at all, you know the name Envy and they're a very, very high in quality brand. You do get the Headset included with the bicycle as well, and these are basically FSA integrated spacers, so this works with this bar, um, but this can also be worked with an FSA bar as well. Headset spacers are included, the fork is included, the mounts for the uh, front derailleur is included for the brazon. You do also get the titanium uh, seat post clamp collar right here, that's included as well. Seat post is included with the bicycle, and the derailleur hanger is included with the bicycle. Now for all the fun stuff that was basically on this bicycle, let me go through my build up on this thing because I think this bicycle is sick and I'm not gonna lie to you, I have some plans for this bike. I think this is gonna be my, my bike of choice for weekend rides, for fun rides. This, this bicycle was a really cool time to ride. So I absolutely had a blast on it. And it's, it's a definitely a different feeling showing up to a group ride and a titanium bike than kind of just like these carbon fiber frames that everyone has. So I really do enjoy showing up with this. It gets people talking about it. But very soon in the future, I'm gonna buy a blowtorch and I wanna torch this titanium. And I want to see if it changes colors. I want to see if it changes to this blue and see if I can draw some color out of this thing. Maybe around like the black heart logo. I have no idea what I'm doing there, but I'm going to do it. And we're going to film it and we'll do it together. But uh, without further ado, let me get into my build spec of this bicycle. Show you guys some of the logos and show you guys some of the sweet builds on this thing, like the weldings on there. And talk about my build setup on this bicycle. So starting off with their cockpit, you have their own black heart handlebars, which the configuration is really nice. They have a 42 a 40 or a 38 C option here. I chose for the 40 spec. You got this little black heart logo right here and the handlebars felt very smooth into the hands. Uh, really had no issues. Actually, I'll be honest with you, they were a little bit more comfortable than the elves handlebars I had on there. Nice ergonomic flat tops up here. They do give you the integrated Garmin mounts in the front. Again, it's carbon fiber, but if I have to be honest with you, it kind of looks cheesy. Uh, it rattles around. It doesn't rattle around a lot, but it has some, some shake to there. Uh, it just looks like a an aftermarket kind of out front mounts. You can probably pick a cage up or something like that on there. Handlebar tape I have on there, Berg with a Louis Vuitton kind of wrap on there, which looks very hype beast, which is really cool. I do have on here the Shimano 105 DI2 group set and a one by configuration. So 12 speed in the rear, one by in the front. 
there's one cable going up into the battery. And if you guys do not know for Shimano batteries, if you ever do anything, whatever ports are not being used for that Shimano battery, you need to plug them with the actual plugs or else they will run dead. So you need to fill in the void of those other ones that are unplugged. If you just yank out the front rear light cable, it will not work, you need to plug it. Going down to the headset, you do have these breakaway spaces, which is always nice. So you can go ahead and adjust your fit accordingly. You can take out some new spacers and you can push down and put a little space cap on there. I chose to keep mine very high up again. I'm figuring out what I am as a cyclist. And as you guys seen in my ride review videos, I have a gut and I'm kind of coming to terms with, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a high stack bicycle. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. Before I used to force myself because I was younger and really did take criticism too well and, and was influenced pretty easily. I would slam my stem or leave one stem on there because it looked badass. But I'm starting to enjoy the full stack. I'm starting to enjoy riding the drops more in the full stack. Uh, so I am absolutely loving that. Going down, the cables are ran into the frame, into the handlebar, and then down to here. So if you guys did need to ever change out handlebars down the road, you will need to re bleed your brakes. You will need to take off your shifter levels on there. As you guys can see, it's a very clean cockpit underneath. <laughs> you do have the black heart logo, which looks very cool. I would like to see this in the future. Just make the logo black. I was trying to get a good picture for the thumbnail. Make this black art black and make the logo in the front black. I don't know if it's maybe too much contrast. Maybe make it a matte black. I think it'd be really cool and kind of show off some pop of color to contrast with the titanium. For the fork on here, we have an NV carbon fiber fork, which is always badass. And then you have a tire clearance up to 700 by 32C. These wheels are a special wheel that I'm still testing. I've had them for a while now. These are uh, Perchual. And actually, to be honest with you guys, uh, the wheels are made by the same guy who makes the Tavros frames that Joe from China Cycling did. So um, it's, I don't even know if they're released yet, but it's a 5258, kind of has that kind of weave to it. Um, it has a campy look to it with a kind of like that weavy Zip 454 and Princeton Wake look to it. Kind of has this hump here. <laughs> I'm just trying them out. Carbon spokes, ceramic bearings, seeing how it goes. And uh, I have on here Continental 700 by uh 28 and a gp5000 str with a ride now ultra light tube tpu 19 grams inside of there so very lightweight i do have my speed sensor up here and on here i have an altegra front rotor i will always go either altegra or durace for rotors i won't get the shimano 15 because they're freaking heavy as hell we do have our shimano disc brake caliper in the front we can see here a nice little look at the black heart name and then the nice look of the down tube right here and look at the weldings by this bottom bracket that's the one thing about titanium is just it, everything is so freaking clean and it just looks badass. I want to take a torch right here and just see if this gets some color change out of it. For the bottom bracket I have in here, Nova to Ride. I've been using the Nova to Ride products on my Tarmac SL7, on my Elves, on this bike. I've been using the Nova to Ride for a while now and the bottom brackets work phenomenal. Um, GC Perf, Nova 10, very good stuff. Ceramic bearings and it, it gives you a great entry point into ceramic lifestyle. You don't have to drop 500 bucks on a ceramic BB or an OSPW. You can get into it for 150, 150. So very nice stuff. Cadence sensor on the 105, a look pedal, which is a basic look pedal. The BB is threaded again into an outboard, not an inboard T47, so keep that in mind. The cages on here are elite cages, plastic. Look pretty good. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to buy some Silka titanium and put them on here because obviously a Thai bike with Thai cages would make more sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the for the crank on here i have the shimano 105 crank and this is my alu gear 52 tooth one by with the plate cover to kind of hide up the four bolts on here which looks very clean you don't see anyone else making cranks like this it looks really badass very nice for the max chainring teeth on this bicycle for a two by i believe it is a 5339 and for a one by it is a 50 tooth chain no i'm an idiot i'm a doggone idiot um, I'll have to, I'll have to double check the, the chain configurations. They, they actually put it underneath the bicycle on there. So we'll, I'll double check and I'll put it down in the description below. Sorry for that. For the chain itself, I have the mountain bike chain on there. The SRAM XX1 Eagle <coughs> running with a 105 cassette 1134. People always go, that's a mountain bike check chain on a road group set. What are you doing? It works. I promise you it works. The Eagle stuff is literally a 12 speed chain that works on a mountain bike. It's just similar to like a... It, it works. I just promise you that. We have over here the Shimano 105 rear derailleur. And again, I'm rocking the Nova to Ride OSPW with the bronze color to match the bronze chain. 
And they're one of the only companies right now that make a 105 Di2 OSPW. So if you guys are looking for that and you have that group set, they have a, a bunch of different colors on there. And again, I have a discount code down in the description below. The rail hanger looks super badass, kind of covered up, looks really clean. I mean, look at how small those weldings are. It's really cool. And then for the rear wheel, it's the exact same. The Perch wheel, rear wheel, 52, 58 depth on there with the Contento GP 5000, 728C. And again, to give you guys a reference for tire clearance, definitely fitting a 32 in there, no problem. And last but not least, we have our normal seat posts on here, carbon fiber. This is a 34.9 seat post clamp titanium. Carbon fiber rails, dual clamp style on here. If I was going to go all out on this bicycle, I'd probably put an MV stem on there, or sorry, an MVC post on there, and just make it look like super badass. You would probably save a ton of weight by dropping that seat post. I did a video, and I think where I weighed it, it was exceptionally heavy. So, um, but again, you can ride it, there's no problem. Probably a denser, the denser carbon might even be a little more comfortable. And then for the saddle, one well, of my main saddles of choice, the S-Works Roman Evo saddle. Nice wide cutout, very comfortable, a lot of give here. It's a 155, carbon fiber rails, carbon fiber body, super lightweight. This is the lightest saddle that Specialized makes in S-Works version. It's lighter than the S-Works Power, just keep that in mind. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. This is the Black Heart Road Tie road bike frame set and a custom build up. You can either buy in a frame set or a complete bicycle. I'll put a link down below in the description and also in the first comment. Go ahead and check out his, uh, his website. They have a bunch of Black Friday sales still going on on complete bicycles or groups. But if you're looking for something that is out of the norm, a modern titanium road style frame, and also at, I'm not gonna say affordable price, but affordable in terms of relevance of what you get, Usually top tier frames are about $5,000 nowadays. This thing being at $3,000 is right in the middle of that kind of price point. And it's, it's badass. It's integrated cockpit, drop seat stays. It's something different. If you're looking for that Saturday cruising bike, if you're looking for an all around purpose bike, titanium will last longer than carbon fiber. And it has definitely more endurance than carbon fiber in terms of material longevity. So let me know what you guys think. I am very happy with this bicycle. If you guys are around A1A, you'll probably see me being on this bicycle a lot. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, here we go, guys. We have the Freo Body Sound Test on this Perchwell rear wheel with its own custom Freo body in here, a 52, 58 millimeter deep dish on a Blackheart Road Tie road bike. Oh, Sounds great. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next one.